Hey, this is Jacob. I'm here to introduce the video again. And we are here making ravioli lasagnas. And my mom's here, and she is my best cook I, I ever had. <laughs> and, and we have some All right, we're going to show them here. Rollies. Hang on, okay? So this is ravioli lasagna, and it's a great recipe because people love lasagna, but it's very time consuming. So this is kind of like a cheater's way to do it that's going to be delicious. Are you excited for it? Yep. All right, so first we're going to pour some of the sauce in the bottom of your pan. Are you sure this is the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. So we're just going to pour some sauce in the bottom. I have more over there, okay? And then we're going to line some raviolis up. So this is where you come in. You're gonna put some ravioli on top of this, all right? Let me just get this going here. Now, already what I did was I, there you go, perfect. I um, took some meat and I took the meat and, you know, just sauteed it and I put some seasonings in it um, so this way it's ready. And if you wanna make it vegetarian, obviously you can do that as well. Can we put spinach in it too? Uh -huh. We can? Well, if you want it. <laughs> so right, listen, this it. doesn't have to be, he said, I'm not gonna eat it. This doesn't have to be perfect, okay? We're gonna use about half, go ahead, keep going. We're gonna use about half of the raviolis and put them in little, can you see how I'm putting them in like little lines like this? Perfect. So wait, so if I put spinach in it, you'll just eat around it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm definitely getting spinach. I think I have some over here. Ooh, ooh that's a way to make it a little bit healthy. Can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. So my mom is very excited that we're cooking together, and she very she likes cooking very much when uh, when she comes on Monday and and so um, we're making a special recipe that she loves. So now what I'm going to do is pour some of the meat over top. Hang on, Jacob. We're going to put more, but we're going to do this first. We're going to put some meat over top of it, and you could put sausage. Um, if you prefer, or like I said, you don't have to put any meat at all. There's those Vanna hands again. Vanna? Then we're going to put some mozzarella cheese. Ooh. You like that? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. <laughs> mozzarella, mozzarella, mozzarella. There you go. Mozzarella, mozzarella, and then we're going to put mozzarella. some spinach. So you'll just eat around the spinach, right? Yeah. You'll actually probably eat spinach. it. You'd be surprised. Yeah, you probably spinach. even will like it, but spinach. you won't even know it. Okay, so now we're going to pour some more sauce on the top and then make another layer. You ready? Ooh, yeah. That's Isn't that funny? Oh! <laughs> Red sausage. All right, time for another layer. So we put one more layer on the top. We end it with um, some sauce and then put a little like Parmesan cheese on the top. It goes into, I uh, hold on, here. It goes into um, a 400 degree oven for well, about yeah, 30, double. yeah, it's all double, for about 30 minutes, and that's it. Uh oh. This isn't soup, just leave it together if it's double like that. That's fine, because you, you'll break them apart if you do it. That's fine. Leave it together. And uh, so it's a great, easy, simple m recipe. And I think that you're going to be really pleasantly surprised at how well it turns out. So I'll come on a little bit later to show you the finished product, but that's it for now, right? You like doing this? Yeah, it's fun. What's it called again? Do you remember the recipe? Ravioli lasagna. Ravioli lasagna. You know, cooking with your kids is always great. It's actually, um, they will eat more if they had something to do with the cooking. So I'll let you know if he eats any of this spinach or not. Put some here. Probably will. I just won't. I think you probably will too. So this is a delicious meal. And the other thing that's nice about this is you can actually make it ahead of time and just put it off to the side. So if you're having a busy day, although it's super easy to make, if you're having a busy day, you can put the lid on it, put it in the refrigerator, like in the morning before you go to work. And then when you come home from work, it's ready to go. Just one word of caution. 
Perfect, you did a beautiful job, thank you. One word of caution is whenever you're using a glass dish, right, any glass dishes that you can use in the oven, they are all what they call tempered, so they're allowed to go in the oven, but remember that they are not shockproof. And what that means is you wanna make sure that you let them come to room temperature. You don't want the extreme temperature changes. So any of you that have had like Tyrex that has exploded in the Tyrex oven. Tyrex is an animal, Tyrex. Tyrex is an animal. Pyrex is a product. That, 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 that. Can they see me? No, but you, you gotta keep that on, please. No. Thank you. I'll just take this. So you wanna make sure that you, um, yeah, give me one second. You have to make sure that you uh, don't have extreme changes of heat so or coldness. So when you're when you're doing that and it's in the refrigerator, don't take it from a freezing cold uh, refrigerator to uh, a hot oven. The other thing that you can do is actually, you know, let it come to room temperature. Jacob, can you please just wait one second? Okay, that's fine. But what you want to do is... Um, you can also start it in a cold oven. So put it in the oven, don't preheat the oven, and then the advantage of that is that the dish will actually warm up while the oven warms up, and that'll help you too. So hopefully that'll help you guys a little bit. And I need a little bit more sauce. I'll have to go grab another jar. Jacob wants to end the meeting though. Wait, you come over back. I will. All right, but I'm gonna grab a little bit more sauce, and then I'm gonna add some um, Parmesan cheese and then some basil on the top of it and then that's it. So I'll come back later to show you a picture of what it's like. Ravioli lasagna. It's like a Sunday dinner on a Monday. All right, Jacob's gonna come and end the meeting. You ready? Come right Gotta down. put your mask on. All right, go ahead. They're waiting for you. Good job. Okay, this is ravioli. Don't, don't pick it up, it's too heavy. And so, it was a really nice time. It was a really nice time having you on this meeting with ravioli lasagnas while my mom was making them, and it was a beautiful time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Just end it. I know. I'm just going to pour this on the top, and then I'll show them the finished one. Hold on. It's okay. So... Thank you for joining us, as Jacob would say, for the meeting. Nope, that's not how you do it. There's a little spot in the right-hand corner, all the way at the bottom. Nope, that's the top, bottom. Nope, keep going. All the way, that one. Bye. Go ahead, push it.